<laughs> He's beaten the champion three times before even having a title match against him. He's about to have, to have his first ever title match. Time to watch how this lays out. Adam versus Brock Lesnar. I shall be back. Okay. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And the machine will bring it into reality. Here at this drawing of a simple roller coaster football team is simple. In a few hours, your brain will finish uploading the idea into the machine, and we can release it into the park. Don't think very bad things. Do not already ruin the roller coaster. Simply ruin it. But we need to incorporate the blocks, golf ball. Way ahead of you. The seats that the riders will sit in will be manufactured out of blocks. Four seats in total. Who's calling me now? Welcome back. Talk to me. Want to talk to me. Who? Nice what? Yes. No, who? Me. You? Yesterday. When? And what? Yeah. What? What do you want to do, Logan? Beans. Beans? <laughs> but why beans? I've got a video. Okay. It's fucking majestic. It's Megalovania. Meglovania. What the hell? Pyro! Oh god, it's Papyrus. That's the scariest part of that screen. Just Papyrus. I can imagine Kara walking into the hall expecting sounds, but when they take off the hoodie, it's thousands of video game characters about to do something that's called a pro game. <laughs> <laughs> Say it! Also, you know, Song has come in on this. Who? Yeah, I'm going to make, like, Zabadilla lyrics. Like that. I see. Made this. Small man, good, a tiny voice, fighting who is a poor choice. No, no, I'm not going to do this. Ah, uh, Logan, you won. Hey, what? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 I 
is a fight, boys fighting who is a fortune. No, 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 run out of the boys. <laughs> Logan Adams just beating the hell out of Brock Lesnar. I could try and beat the entire team. Like, from Tokyo and Cyclops. Do it. Go with the Sands fight. Do I want the corruption mod to randomize that? I've kind of seen it all. Yeah. I guess, okay. Well, in fact, most of the dialogue has the same, like, base style to it. So if you randomize one file, most of them get randomized. There you go. Now, start the sands fight. <laughs> no, like you don't understand. There's some point, no, like throughout the sand spike, nearing the end, for one YouTuber, all that sound was saying was just curtain. <laughs> curtain, 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 curtain. What the fuck? No, you see, when he stabbed sand, he started reading it as you'd imagine sand would peek out, just curtain. 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 <laughs> curtain. <laughs> Good. 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 And I had to reset because the game practically beat stands again. I was just, oh, you're awake, thank goodness. Oh, you're awake, thank goodness. Yeah. Well, I looked away for one second and now I'm starting getting his ass kicked. Hey, get off the bottom, why don't you? Yeah, stop beating up Adam. What has he ever done to you? And he almost broke Brock Lesnar's ribs immediately after I said that. <laughs> I'm so terrified. Like what? Uh, oh, what did I just get rid of? No, I should get rid of all the day up. Logan, do you have the um, funny Five Nights at Freddy's game that has the um, world? Yeah, I've got it. Go ahead, go into the code and change the level to funny. I already know what happened. Wait, you watched the Astro Script video? Then put it on like 69. Yeah. Yeah. Try and speed one FNAF will be coward. No. Your FNAF will be Nuzda. Come on, I mean, it sounds fun, doesn't it? Why doesn't it sound fun, huh? Yes, I actually am. How long is the game? Very depending on Logan, how good are you at RPG type games? Have you ever played Pokemon? Yes. Well, just try and treat it like it's a Pokemon game. It is. <laughs> Oh my god, Adam might finish it. Adam hits his finisher. They literally just snap your neck with my metal trousers move. Adam is now 6 and 0. Oh. I love how enthusiastic the um announcer is when he's saying Adam's name. Just Adam, 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 Adam.
Yeah, no, it's just like Alan just like living out his own like world. Yeah, <laughs> it's just like um bloody what's his face um Pyro. No, it's more than just like yelling at him. Like Alan, get down from there. <laughs> Probably. Now I'm going. I'm just I would have to reinstall that. I also have to reinstall it. Fair enough. Sure. I'm my computer that it's gonna take five hours. I wants to play some ver, but my ver is almost dead. I have to charge my ver. Mainly because I haven't charged it since the last There's time we played. I've never played half and half ever again. Yeah. It was very fun, but still we had to deal with that guy going, mm -hmm. La la la! <laughs> 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 that was George just the funniest thing ever. Just that one guy just runs around like la la la. What Logan? Yeah, that's literally the sand spike. That's all bad time simulator is. It's just the sand spike getting you prepared for it. What Logan? Hurry up, next screen down. Okay, wait, I gotta charge my headset. I gotta grab the charger and plug it in. Like, I'm not joking when I say, the last time I charged this thing was like... Four weeks ago? Five weeks ago? Like, I... It was pretty much gathering dust for a while because I forgot I had it. I'm just about to say something funny for my Twitch, which is going to be a part of the YouTube video. I, wait, it's buffering. Okay, I can see it now. Lost his match a match yet, so I gotta check. Okay. So Adam technically has not lost a match yet because he was attacked 
before you could enter the ring. Are you doing drugs? Um, no. Adam has lost a match. No. Adam is now six and one. I can't believe this. Adam lost because he took drugs. No, he didn't take drugs. He got attacked before the match. You have no proof Adam did not take drugs. Well, that is true. And also, since that one match before he could enter the wrestling ring, not the drug ring, and that, he, that means he's 6 1 and 1 no contest. Well, Adam could enter the drug ring. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, if Adam had entered the drug ring, how would he have won? Adam is now 7 1 and 1. No, I'm gonna try some bad time team later. I quit. <laughs> I failed instantly and went, okay, I'm done. <laughs> Brock Lesnar beats Adam for the championship. Adam is 7 and 2 and 1. Seven and two on one. Yeah, he has seven wins, two losses, and one no contest. Okay, Adam now has two no contests. You should have got him nine one and one. No yeah. reason whatsoever. Yeah, but he lost a match and has not, and two matches he couldn't get to the wing, and so it was counted as a no contest. Eight, two, and two. I hate the big bone boys. Tell them to stop being big bone boys. God damn, Logan just hit the gritty on him. It hit me. Keep hitting me. Good bone. Seven and three. Seven, two, and three, I mean. No, 9, 11. Oh, wait, no, 8, 2, and 3. Sorry, I've been stupid. You must be out of 9 and 11. <coughs> Look, why should I add it to 9 up? Not add it up to 9, 11? Funny. But, Logan, 9, 11 wasn't funny. People died. Do you want to bet? Do you want to bet? Zoomed by Tim Allen. Consumed by Tim Allen. Yeah, man. Wow. Consumed by Tim Allen BDD. Okay. Good for you. I'm playing a lot online here. Yeah. If you lose, you have to give up that Zoom by Tim Allen DVD. I have something signed from a magician. And you want the side had to try convincing the entire school that they were friends with um, famous escape artist, what's it, whatever his face is. Um, Houdini? Dino, 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 Dynamax. D Dynamax? Damn, they were friends with Dynamax? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I gotta find the picture real quick. Because it's on my dad, like me and my dad share a phone pictures. Okay, beat him. Nice. 
first try. Nice, you get to keep your spiff, wait, not spiff, um, your stiff magic, whatever your thing is. Get absolutely nae-nae, sons. Alright, I guess you win. Let me kill you. Disappointment. Disappointment. Alright, I'll be back when this thing's finished downloaded. Okay. I'm gonna send you a picture. Alright, I'm gonna send this picture to... I literally had gotten to meet Spiff the Magic Dragon, and I got to take a picture with him. And I got to hold his dog. I loved it. I loved that day. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. And is for the WWE Championship. Adam, the United States Champion! Woo! Wait, that means he's 9 and 2. 9, 9, 2, and 3. 9, 2, and 3. If Adam wins this, he gets to keep his, he gets his, himself the two belt, get to, to be called the two belt champ. If he loses this, then he gets to, then he loses his belt. The Brock Lesnar. Introducing the challenger. Oh my god, I'm so short. I'm, I'm little. I'm small. God damn it, I must have been short. What is that? Close to height with Tom. I thought it was my mom.
Ten, two, and three. Adam's just a machine. Ooh, an average match between those two. Those two have always had bangers of matches. Well, it could have been a false count anywhere match, and that would have probably made it better. I know I'm sexy. I got looks. Go wild. Go wild. 
told you put down and uh, I'm just a sexy boy, sexy boy, I'm just a boy, toy, boy, toy, I'm just a sexy boy, sexy boy, I'm not your boy, toy, boy, toy. Do. TV, play a tutorial for us, will you? Okay. Bored. There's too many of us and not enough to do. Then why don't you go make yourself useful and go hinder some other teams like last time? And I don't just do to do to do do to do. Oh, what are you guys doing down here? We're here to cause some inner team shenanigans. Oh, hey, that's what I'm doing too. You guys are cool. Later. I always knew I was cool. I always knew you were cool too, but. Guys, they're just building a roller coaster. I hate roller coasters! What if you fall off? You die? You're right. Let's create a landing pad for the people that prefer not to do that. This heat might come in handy. Let's get out of here, dang. We did it! We did it! With more rental listings than anybody else, it was just inevitable that you were going to find everything that you were looking for at apartments.com. I mean, come on, look at this place. It's got, oh, 12 foot ceilings, modern appliances. It we're falling behind, and we still don't have an idea. How about we short book for our attraction? Ooh, I love creating anagrams. How about a pile of. Oh, I love a cake! What does that mean? Oh, I think I follow. It's always fun to pick up some silly prizes and things at an amusement park. Thank you. I struggled to put it into words. No worries. That idea is a million bucks. That works quite well. Good idea, Cake. Okay, folks, let's head to the hotel and find some cool gadgets that might make for some cool prizes. Okay, babe. Uh, yes. Just second-guessing our team's strategy. Second-guess later! We need to build this place! We're gonna need some tables and chairs. Then let's get carving! Wait! Why are we using me? I saw an opportunity! Uh-huh. <laughs> I admire your corner. I saw an opportunity! These chairs are looking uh -huh. phenomenal! You could have just shown us how to make lame and boring basic chairs! You went above and beyond. Everyone, let's chant TV's name together. TV, TV, TV. Above and beyond. And here I am making a basic whatever roller coaster. I'm just gonna say it, TV. You'll go down as a legend forever for this. Because you went above and beyond and didn't do the basic thing. That would have been mediocre. Not basic, huh? Maybe I can spruce up the ideas for the roller coaster. Drop offs, sudden clips, loops. Balls, dangerous, deadly, the most exciting ride ever, and they will all love me. Uh, it. They'll love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, teardrop. Oh, what's this? Sure would be a shame if I sapped your attraction away, huh? <laughs> ah, you don't even care. Maybe your attraction is so beauty that it doesn't even matter if I break it. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like my work is already done. <laughs> There's random things behind the desk here. Wowser for wowser. Ideally, it'd be something like Dream Island. Professor Batteries, a uh, jawbreaker, some garbage. Don't call it that. That's amazing. Nickel, Bonnie just told you that some of it is literal garbage. Value is in the eye of the beholder, Nelly. Do you truly believe that? Or are you saying it because you're a nickel? A bit of both. Okay guys, if we make use text, maybe four blocks high in this sheet over it, we may be able to save a high fall from the roller coaster. I've got this! Hmm. Bouncy. Whee! Stop playing on that. You're acting like it's some sort of amusement park attraction or something. Yeah, this is strictly for death prevention. Oh. 
Right. This place looks great! Hopefully, too, likes eating here. <gasps> the food! Finn, did you get that apple you mentioned? It slipped my mind. No, we forgot our dish. Or did we? Yeah. Uh, we did. But this works. Yellow face, how's the performance? So good. Check out this opening dance I have for it. <laughs> You're a brilliant dancer, too? Is there anything you can't do? Well, sometimes I worry that. Yellow face has got this clock all under control. Hmm. Clock? Yeah, the performance is gonna be great. Don't push anyone, Clock. Ah! Oops. Sorry, what? Cloudy, how's the stage going, buddy? You tell me. It reminds me of sorting a collection. Just kind of fits into place, really. You guys like it? Have you ever needed a brilliant stage? Then contact Cloudy. Uh, thanks, guys. This is dirty. We will win this. So, what? Are we just seeing if two can knock over the stack? Yeah! If they can prove themselves, they can knock it over! I feel like it's not quite ready. Grr, what? Not ready? No one likes my idea! Arr. No, that's not... Hey, there's an idea! What? We'll just keep clobbering, Belle? Nope, I'll need some string. Just something my lab at the hotel, I'm pretty sure. I'll glue the rest of the stack together. I'm on string duty! Be back in a flash! No, oh, hello, Robot Flower. No, oh, goodbye, Robot Flower. Everyone! The sun is setting, so I recommend you all meet me back at the amusement park. Judging of your attractions will begin shortly. And that's the last of the chairs. Thank you for visualizing our roller coaster football. Time to check the preview and... Impressed? No! Papa, that is so dangerous. It is absolutely, outrageously ridiculous. What? What? We don't have time to restart. You have simply ruined our idea. Or we don't even have time to make another. Uh, no need to dwell on it. Let's take the adventure thingy and upload the coaster into the park already. We can't just take garbage, can we? Garbage and a jawbreaker and a battery or two. Brilliant. Well, didn't you all hear Pooh's announcement? Better something than nothing. We gotta go. <gasps> Got it! Grab the garbage, folks, and then grab Robot Flower. Why don't you say to grab the same thing twice? <laughs> Got the string! Perfect! You're a lifesaver. <laughs> It's a punchy game. A real test of strength. Yes! I love it! I love it so much! I just wanna hit something! <laughs> it's so much! I just wanna hit something! <laughs> no grassy! Why did you hit our teammate? Just use our punchy game next time. Oh, right. Okay, golf ball. Now we've got your brainwave thing. Now what do we do? Just click upload, and it'll spawn before our eyes. Oh, gosh. Let's just get our boxies onto the ride immediately. A dangerous attraction is better than nothing. That thing looks so dangerous. We might have made the right call, just preventing death this time, team. I knew it! Everyone, look at the sun! It is nearly set! Really? To me, it looks like it'll still take about an hour or so. I'll never doubt you again. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> okay, that was close. But now, I'll never doubt you again. Thank you. Are you okay? What attraction have you created? We've made a roller coaster for your park. The blocks are the chairs you'll be seated in during your ride. Hey, you too. You should ride on that. Oh, good idea, Pillow. It'll be dangerous and they'll lose for sure. They'll also die. I love the idea, Pillow. I love rides. Are you okay? Please join me on the ride. Puffball, can you push the lever to begin our trip? Uh, okay. Free! <laughs> Well, Just like those no are three flips. Feel more comfortable than my kindergarten teacher, Miss Jane. Wow, this is lovely so far. Ah! 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 Someone save us all! Oh, I'm saved. Wow, this is quite fun. Bounce, bounce. Ten out of ten. Wow.
Oh, really? The Death Pact again. For making an amazing trampoline. I've always loved these. As for the Are You Okay Death Trap, it was exhilarating, but might need to be closed for future renovations for future guests. So let's just give it a 5 out of 10, shall we? We all take it. Thank you to... Strongest team on Earth. What is this? Hey, too. I reckon you're so weak. <gasps> what? No, I'm not so weak. Oh, yeah? Well, can you take on this feat of strength? I have ugh, such trouble moving it, but I don't even know if you're up to the challenge, too. Wow, it looks hard. Let me try. <laughs> <sighs> a strong game for a strong team. Simple, and I like it. That's what I said! A fist back! And now there's a whole new test to try. I don't know how I feel about this new element, but I love what I played. 7 out of 10. Three strong attractions so far. I don't like this new element, but I like what I played. 7 out of 10. I like it. RPS, it's time for your attraction. We've created a stage out of blogs for a performance area. Hmm. Well, if it's for a performance area, I'm going to need to see a performance. Luckily for you, we have yellow face. Winner! Oh. Right, come on. This will actually make us... Trust me, you got this. Two presenting. Uh, back to the mainstream. Yay! Woohoo! And there's no one on stage. Plumber. Huh? Winner, where are you going? I didn't agree to this at all, Clark. Don't push me to do something like this when I'm not ready. I wasn't trying to force you, I just. I think I'd rather be by myself for now. Oh. Well, no performance ended up taking place, and you've just constructed an empty stage. Nothing really to do here. Sorry, guys, but that's a 0 out of 10. No! Let's see what you've been working on, Teardrop. Huh? What do you want to do with this? Who cares? Give me that! Oh, how fun! And you did this all by yourself, Teardrop? What a fun carnival game! I'm gonna give that a 5 out of 10. You were meant to hurt her changes, not help her! Good that, Tiggy! There's one forever! What is this? Garbage? Uh, it's garbage on a table! Okay. Think of it like a bunch of prizes! You have all these rides and activities! Forever! What is this? Garbage? Uh, what is this? Garbage. garbage? On a table! Okay. Think of it okay. like a bunch of prizes! <laughs> I like I like uh, I like two. Two just reminds me of me. And my friend, like, me and Logan, you know, so just like, what is this? Garbage? It's a uh, garbage on a table! Okay. Anything else about it? Is this? You have all these rides and activities too, but is it really an amusement park if there's no prizes? But a jawbreaker? Batteries? These have almost no value! So what's the value, you are, eh? <laughs> Thirty dollars. That makes the value clear. You guys get a three out of ten. Sound fair? Yes, we did it. Good job, price tag. <laughs> oh my heavens! Oh no, don't We'll consider that Marcus say the death prevention. So that leaves us with just teammates left. As long as you lock it above a zero, then you'll beat the S. I'm sure you'll enjoy what we put together, too. Of course, Katie. Everything you put your mind to is always fantastic. Ow. So we put together Ow. our best. I've got you now, TD. <laughs> Racer! Teardrop! No! Uh, well, since you have nothing to show me, this also gets a zero out of ten. Sad with a capital S. Two teams got a zero. So what'll the tiebreaker be, too? Hopefully not a performance. <laughs> Sorry, yellow face. I promise to do better going clockwise. Well, it hardly seems fair to the other teams to give you both another shot. And earlier, Clock, you did point out this game is going so slowly. If there's 41 contestants, and we compete this infrequently, how are we going to ever possibly finish this competition? So, I think a way to speed up this competition is to have two teams up for elimination. <gasps> oh, why did it? Because... Two. Viewers, two teams are up for elimination, but you only get one vote total. So vote one contestant you want to have saved. The contestant with the fewest votes on teammates and the contestant with the fewest votes on the S will both be eliminated. Make your one vote count. Hello, this is Michael, one of the two Huang twins that created BFDI. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching T-Bot 3.
You revenge that one loss he had. Refresh. Even though it's probably not even him who got pinned. Like, it's true stories about plane crashes. Nobody even died. But the story is crazy. Essentially, the front cockpit windows... Oh, count the frames. That was like five. The win windows weren't bolted down properly. So mid-flight, the windshield blows off. And it sucks the pilot half out of the plane. His, like, feet get stuck on the steering column, and he's instantly knocked, knocked unconscious and just, like, flapping loosely against the side of the plane. And, like, a bunch of the, the whatever they're called, hospitality workers, just, like, come into the cockpit and hold the man's legs down. And they emergency landed the plane, and despite, like, being exposed to freezing temperatures for, like, an hour, and honestly, everybody on the flight just assumed he was dead, but they wanted to keep his body. And, yeah, he survived. Like, you're holding this guy just flapping on the outside of the plane for, like, an hour, and it makes a full recovery. No! Oh, God, as time goes on, I get worse at this stupid jump. I swear, we're just gonna end up running down. <laughs> Please, video game. Video game, please. Fuck it. I don't care. We're running. I don't even care. Oh yeah, look at those toes. I love me some hard toes. I look over and see sniff, sniff. You guys are unforgivable. Any terrible date stories? I mean, I kind of already told my terrible date stories, like, Tuesday. I mean, Paige ever had any terrible dates? I mean, Paige's family is, like, kind of farmy. Like, she's always lived in the city, but she has a lot of farming relatives, which is, like, actually the literal opposite of me, because I make money playing video games. And even before I did that, I still spent my time, like, making videos and shit for other people. It's kind of bullshit. Oh, no, we gotta go back. We gotta dip. We gotta dip. They had a fair where, like, they're, they're gonna show off their horses. And that's when I found out that I was allergic to horses. But I had no idea prior. So I got super sick. Like, I had to go to the on-site ambulance because I just couldn't breathe. Because I was, like, walking in and out of barns and stuff. Needless to say, Paige's family wasn't and still isn't very happy about that. I'm the city boyfriend who can't even be around the horses. Just stop being so sensitive. Yeah, I know. Split. Thank you. My first experience with vaping started just as lame as you'd expect. I was at a basketball tournament. Some of the boys were like, hey, David, come check out our vape. This is like grade nine, so I was like, I was 14. And then... Like, we, the four dudes gathered underneath their blankets in one of his beds, in one of the dudes' beds. So just, like, four dudes huddled underneath the white blankets, and we were, like, hotboxing the sheets <laughs> with, like, grape vape. <laughs> Core power helps you recover and build lean muscle. Fueled by 26 grams of high quality protein to give your body what it needs when it needs it. Wow. That sounds disgusting. Yeah, I mean it wasn't I wasn't amazed. Some of the, the dudes were like, oh this is sick, bro. But yeah, beyond that, very little thing. My life. But yeah, also at that tournament, I know three of my teammates. So you know how like hotel showers are like really small. I know three of my teammates tried to like shower in the same shower. That would not fit. Holy shit, it'd be unbearable. You'd have like one dude actually getting water. <laughs> we were just like cold and stuck. <laughs> I don't understand. 
we showered together our whole lives. I just showered with you. It's been a while now. But if I were to shower at a gym, it would be the same. I don't anymore. Ashley, Tucker, Styles, Quills, Chris, Adam. Six showers coming out of the side. You're all in it together. Oh, got to get a lid on it. Cool showers are disgusting. Well, I wasn't exo disgusting per se, but yeah, no. Like if you play on a sports team, you just you just had to shower with the boys. There's two apple trees in my parents' backyard, in the house that I grew up in, and so. Every year, if we didn't pick them, they'd fall to the ground. And we usually pick probably like three quarters, but we'd always miss some. They'd fall to the ground and kind of rot, and so you either gotta pick them up, throw them out, or turn them into like applesauce or whatever. Or just let them die. But anyway, my solution one year for all the apples in the ground was to just pick them up, throw them up in the air, and try to hit them with a baseball bat. Because if you hit them with a baseball bat, they would just explode into dust. It was amazing. Apple dust. Then one year, probably the last year I did this, actually, I grabbed an apple and I got like two or three wasp bites at once because there were just a bunch of wasps on the opposite side of the apple. In my ass. Awful. Wasps are pain. Don't fail us now, please. I don't attend on it, but... I would say I'm already more present in the conversation than I am in the, <laughs> in the game. Boy. Okay, my point exact. So the deathless run comes to a close. <laughs> I could have sworn I had that combo right. Chico one always messes with me because it forces you to look really far left to right. I have zero points. I can't even gamble now. <laughs> you should save like 10 then. Remember, Chad, don't let this hurt you. You believe in no matter what Chad, Surely you can't die again. No way. Honestly, though, if I am gonna die, get a repair. Alright, we had a bit of a lapse, okay. This doesn't count for the prediction, so don't worry about it. The prediction's still going, so... <laughs> I should stop talking. Uh, he's late. Yeah, that's what it was. Uh, yeah. oh, sick of dying! The third time in like half an hour. Odd. Okay. So chat, just getting sleepy. No, I'm doing okay. I am no longer <laughs> starting to think lawfully <laughs> That's all introducing the If somebody reaches one mil and like, you know, he wants to get it, I'm gonna make them promise to tell everybody in chat that they were <laughs> always a believer. That's how they won to. That'll be the trade-off. I'll punch the monitor. You have to lie to chat. <laughs> oh, that is the secret magnet, isn't it? So now the one over by yeah, the bakery is like for sure not gonna be it's for sure gonna be open because I already picked it up. That's so whack. At some point my ears start, my start hurting, and I'll have to take my headset off. So you might have like round four or five to no sound. Oh god, I'm gonna get it right. Time to die again, Roxy. I'm hoping that like as it gets later into the day, I get better at remembering all the collectibles as opposed to worse. But I am concerned that I'm gonna get the funniest thing I've ever done. This is like SpongeBob's thing. You know? It's such a vague memory. But you can like put ketchup on your fist. And it makes the game run worse, which allows you to do some skips easier or something. 
and it might be Adam. Freddy, 
Cena's elimination in the 2004 Rumble was unfortunately botched. There was immediate concern for Cena's welfare. Cena would be eliminated by the Big Show and his leg landed awkwardly. It looked like Cena was instantly hurt. Cena had torn his MCL, but Cena somehow didn't miss any substantial time away from WWE television. He was once again wrestling just a few days later. Number 8. Titus O'Neil's failed elimination The 2015 World Rumble was an utter disaster for WWE. They booked the match completely backwards, and it resulted in one of the worst Rumble matches of all time. Due to the match ending itself being so poorly received, many fans overlooked the botches in the match itself. All of these took place with Titus O'Neil's elimination. The plan was for O'Neil to enter the match and immediately be eliminated by Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins, but O'Neil somewhat hilariously couldn't get over the ropes. It was awkward, and the spot had to be redone, which didn't look the best upon execution. This would be the first of two Royal Rumble botches for O'Neill, as just three years 
later, he would notoriously slip and slide under the ring during the Greatest Royal Rumble. Number 7, Kofi Kingston's luck runs out. A former WWE Champion Kofi Kingston has crafted out an impressive Royal Rumble legacy without, without even winning the match. Kingston has been able to avoid elimination in some of the most exciting ways imaginable, and these have now become Royal Rumble highlights of the year. In 2022, unfortunately, his luck ran out, as his elaborate Rumble save was botched. Kingston would enter the match at number 24, and when he was pushed off the top rope by Kevin Owens, Kingston landed on the barricade. It appeared that Kingston was holding himself on the barricade, avoiding letting his feet hit the floor, but sadly his feet had already touched the ground. WWE would replay this spot, and it was ruled that Kingston was indeed eliminated. It received credit for not insulting the viewer's intelligence, and it was appreciated that WWE called it in a legitimate manner. Number 6, Stone Cold Steve Austin's Accidental Elimination. The 1996 Royal Rumble pay-per-view saw Stone Cold Steve Austin make his WWE debut as the Ringmaster. They had huge plans for his character, and booking plans called for Austin to make it until the final tour of the match. Unfortunately, there was just one issue. Austin was accidentally eliminated early, and subsequently wasn't able to make it to the final four. This accidental elimination occurred when the future Rikishi charged at Austin with a clothesline but a little too much force, and Austin stumbled right over the top rope, but he wasn't able to hang on. Hilariously, Vince McMahon, who was on commentary, decided to outright ignore it, but when his commentary partner Mr. Perfect mentioned it, McMahon had no choice but to state that Austin was indeed eliminated. Austin would discuss his infamous botch on his podcast, and this is what the WWE legend had to say. We were at the World Rumble, and I was supposed to be finishing fourth in the match. So your first year in the company, and you're going to be the fourth to last guy left in the ring. It's a pretty good rough. I was doing a spot with, I believe it was Fat 2, I can't remember, one of the Samoans. Man, he had a lot of baby oil on. All the guys were oiled up, and some of the ropes were very slippery. I was going to do a deal where he does something to me, and I was going to take a bump over the top, hang on to the top rope, come back in the bottom, well, zip zip, boom, I lost my grip. Fell out on my keister, down by the guardrail. Number 5, The Great Carly Forgets About the Hard Camera. WWE Hall of Famer The Great Carly has been known to botch a move or two in his career, but his botch at the 2007 Rumble was borderline laughable. When Carly made his entrance and cleared house, this was to set up The Undertaker entering the match and subsequently eliminating the 7 foot giant. Upon cleaning house in the match, Carly missed his cue and forgot to pose in front of the hard camera. Michaels could see that Carly was posing towards the wrong camera and he had no choice but to break character and inform him to pose over to. was the correct side of the arena. It was incredibly obvious what HBK was saying, but the spot ultimately wouldn't have had the same effect if HBK didn't take control of the situation. Number 4, Alex Riley almost ruins the 2011 Royal Rumble. One of the main storyline aims of 2011's Royal Rumble was to develop the feud between The Miz and John Cena ahead of WrestleMania 27. The Miz's protege, Alex Riley, would be a big part in this, but his early accidental elimination in the Rumble match threw a spanner in the works. Riley would slip over the top rope after just three minutes in the match. WWE had to rethink how they were going to handle Cena's elimination, as initial plans called for Riley to eliminate Cena with the help of the Miz. WWE quickly improvised and had already eliminated Riley, which would distract Cena only for the Miz, who was on commentary at the time, to enter the match and eliminate Cena. Number three, a major botch turns into a storyline. The Rock's defining moment was to be at the 2000 Rumble, as he would win the match and get set to headline WrestleMania 16. The only problem was that the finish of the Rumble match was botched, meaning that technically The Rock didn't even win the match, and the match victory should have been awarded to The Big Show. The finish of the match saw Big Show attempt to throw The Rock over the top rope, only for The Great One to hold on, and then The Big Show would fall to the floor. This spot sounded great on paper, but The Rock's feet sadly touched the floor before The Big Show's, meaning that the finish was completely botched. They decided to turn this into a storyline where Big Show would declare that he was the rightful winner of the match, which was a smart thing to do, as it would have been nonsensical for the WWE to ignore such a huge blunder. Number two, backstage chaos. That's a no contest. Royal Rumble. 
The Shane McMahon Dean Ambrose finally showing at the 2022 Royal Rumble as his antics both backstage and in the ring led to his own father Vince McMahon firing him. McMahon was pushing for himself to be the star of the match which naturally didn't go down well with other talents and his performance in the match was less than stellar. One of the major botches McMahon was involved in took place before he'd even come down to the ring. The Rumble running order declared that the WWE Great Randy Orton would enter the match at number 28, whilst McMahon would enter at 29. However, when the time came for Orton to make his entrance, McMahon's entrance music played accidentally, meaning that Shane had to quickly make his entrance. According to backstage reports, Orton found the botch incredibly funny and was reportedly almost on the floor with laughter. And number one, WWE production is an iconic story. <coughs> Botches don't just happen with wrestlers themselves, as WWE's production team are prone to making huge blunders from time to time. Take, for instance, the 2020 Royal Rumble, as Edge had just come out of retirement after nine years and had delivered his first spear. However, for whatever reason, the camera panned away and showed fans celebrating. The fact that they missed such an iconic moment was heavily criticized by fans and even fellow WWE talent. The individual who took Edge's first beer back was Dolph Ziggler, and Ziggler was furious as he decided to take to Twitter to air his grievances. Who cuts away from an official in-ring return while two opponents are running towards each other? People make mistakes, we all do, and I've made tons. That being said, a very special moment was inexplicably missed. Anyone got cell phone footage? The backlash to the production botch was so severe that WWE would edit footage of the Rumble instead of panning away. The official footage of the 2020 Rumble now includes the shot of the spear. But they have it, folks, 10 of the most insane Royal Rumble botches. Be sure to leave your comments down below. We'll see you next time with some more. Rest. Whilst the Royal Rumble is without question one of the most exciting scheduled matches Sometimes you find something in a video game that makes you want to. This is why they were diving into each of the previous discoveries that we found in video games. Part 3. Brought to you by Mana, the banking app made for gamers where you can earn perks and points by simply buying and playing video games with first of its kind of reward system. Spend the points you earn on the app to gain even more gamer focused products. There's no shortage of creepy discoveries in Rockstar's biggest game to date, such as the latest mystery I covered from a game that had me making human sacrifices to figure out what the hell is up with this unexplained pagan ritual site. Red Dead Online has managed to make the game even stranger, as when Wonton Babel was playing the game with a friend, a strange occurrence happened that still haunts them to this day, as during this cutscene on the mission Where Your Moral Beach, there was only a flash of light that hmm. doesn't normally happen in the scene, and mm -hmm. after the screen cleared, the character's skin was pitch black, their hair turned white, and their eyes appeared to be blowing. Whatever's going on here, it appears to be so rare that Wonton Bagel's video is currently the only known footage we have of this creepy occurrence. Though this isn't actually the only instance of players finding such an unnerving sight in Red Dead Online, as players have also reported seeing mysterious corpses with the same exact green glowing eyes and bluish skin. Though so moonshine is a hell of a drug, but what the purpose of the glowing eyes represents remains unclear, as many thought it was a teaser for an upcoming Halloween update. But nothing has appeared in the Halloween events that would sell of a glowing eyed beast. It's hard to say what exactly is going on here, but if these glowing eyed corpses were supposed to be unintentional, I'm gonna need some serious convincing on that one. That would be one hell of a freaky glitch. Call of Duty.
Black Ops. Thanks to Killer DWTB and Dinkley for sending this mystery on the entire website Discord. Call of Duty Black Ops is the seventh main installment in an extremely popular military first person shooter. Featuring a campaign you expect in the 1960s during the Cold War to prevent chemical warfare from reaching the US. Which is why it seems strange when Killer DWTB made discovering Call of Duty Black Ops that doesn't seem to fit the setting at all. Killer DWTB <coughs> says they were playing the mission Revelations. When after Mason freed himself from the pitter, they walked into the next room, approached this door, and waited a while when suddenly they heard. What the? They heard what sounded like an enormous beast behind the door waiting to be unleashed. But there doesn't appear to be any non humans that ever appear in the mission, as far as anyone knows. Well, I'm not going in there. It appears this mysterious ground is the only unnerving discovery to be found in Black Ops. It distinctly let me know of another creepy discovery right on the main menu. As when some players booted up the game, rather than this TV screen that is normally on the menu list of the game options, there was instead this strange clock in its place that was synced to the player's console's internal clock. The clock just kept ticking as players tried to figure out what was happening, with no way to get rid of it until they reset the game. Since the clock discovery was first reported in 2011, no one has been able to figure out what causes it to appear. In fact, in the last decade, only three people have ever managed to get footage of the occurrence. What the, this clock is ticking down to is still unknown, but since the mysterious creature is actually only in the next room over, maybe it's better we never find out.
Netflix is a room where you can get on a computer and begin the game. However, on extremely rare occasions, when opening the game, some players have been met with the secret screen of a strange-looking Medusa-head creature with its intestines spilling out and surrounded by retro-style PC monitors. A sinister low growl plays during the scene, which when sped up and reversed reveals that it's actually multiple layers of audio at different speeds saying, Please save me. Please save me. To add to the confusion, no one is sure of what exactly triggers this strange scene, nor does anybody seem to know its meaning or greater purpose. There's also a photo that can be found on the wall beside yes. the open. Hi, babe. Hello. Are you going to take a shower before class today? Yeah. Screen, which appears to show a dark room with a pair of glowing red eyes. This is one of Vic and Tor's parapsychological tests. I think I failed it because I have no idea what the is going on here. Blade and Soul. Thanks to Epic for submitting this discovery on the Ontario Discord. Blade and Soul is a Korean fantasy martial arts massively multiplayer online role-playing game, originally released in 2012 in Korea and 2016 in the US, with Blade and Soul Revival launching in 2021. And with this upgrade to Unreal Engine 4, Epic noticed for the first time some assets of the game were carried over that appear were never meant to be found, as Epic found by doing what they described as smashing their face into a portal immediately, then getting into the water, doing a special, and then jumping. It can make so, in one year, However, he was 30 wins, 15 losses, and 6 no contests. Of Stone Village, they found a pair of green skinned monsters with long talons that don't appear anywhere else in the game. Oh. At least that we know of. Why these mysterious creatures are floating down Yep, that's the end of my stream. And I have to confirm that they remain down there lurking for years.